also today I have a really exciting video for you guys. As you know, I have actually shopped in the Everything £5 sale and I did actually get some sale bits on my last Everything £5 haul. And today, I have more sale bits from Everything £5. So I have been eagerly awaiting this box because in this box, just here, all that I have in this box is dresses. So in this box of dresses, I think I do actually have some really wacky ones. I have some formal-ish ones. I literally have a great big spectrum of different dresses to try on for you guys today from the sale. And I cannot remember exactly what I've bought. So this is gonna be just as fun and interesting and exciting and oh my god-ish as it is for you. But if you are brand new to my channel and you have never seen my face before, hi I'm Leah, welcome to the channel. Do feel free to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. But right now I'm so excited to get into this box so there's nothing else for it but let's get into the video. Okay so it may be a small box but it is damn heavy, I will say that. And I am so excited to get into this. Oh, I've been waiting for this for ages. Ugh, ugh. Okay, so I have, again, 14 items. So this is going to be a giant, and I mean giant, everything five pounds sale dress haul. I had to get that out. I was gonna trip over my words and I was like, no, you will say it properly, Leah. So 14 items, I mean, Oh my god, there is there is 14 items on there. So uh, let's delve in and see what we've got. So I'm going to go for this green number, because it's out of the packaging. Um, wow, that's green! <laughs> wow! Okay, so I've got this in a size 14. I think most of the dresses that will be in this box will be a size 14, just because of how they fit. I mean, I'm a 12 on my top half, I'm 14 on my bottom half. So I would sooner get a 14 in dresses, just because then I know that they're gonna fit, you know, around my hips. So this is the first dress. It has got this really, really soft black mesh on the top, and I actually really like that. It looks like it is going to be a little bit bodycon. I don't know how stretchy that's gonna be. It's not very stretchy, to be fair. Hopefully I'll fit in that, but we will see. But yes, it is a bodycon dress, probably just above the knee, maybe. And it's by a brand, what's the brand? Well, oh, the brand's called Wonderful, so hopefully that's what it will look like on. It does have a cold shoulder there, which is gonna be really interesting. I think, to be honest, this dress is going to be one of those dresses that, you know, if you wore it with like white trainers or black trainers, it'd look really, really cool. So it'd be one of those sort of dress downy things. You can wear a bomber jacket with it as well, that'd be great. But this does feel a little bit cheap, but it's a very thick, cheap material. I don't know if you kind of understand what I mean with that. But yeah, it's like, it's a thick but cheap material. So that's really interesting. But there is nothing else for it but to get it tried on. Wow, this dress has got no stretch in it whatsoever. So getting it on, I am literally pretty much off to myself all the way into this. It's crazy. But because it's so tight, it's giving me a nice waist which is always good. It is showing up my pant lines and everything here, which is never good. Look, I bet you can see it on my bum as well. And it's showing up, does it show up bra lines? It shows up bra lines. Personally, I kind of do actually like it. I think if I'd have gone a size up, so it wasn't so tight, it would definitely be with it and I would wear it places. I kind of like it. Um, don't know why, I think maybe, the mesh and then the style of dress it is kind of just makes it a little bit different and quite quirky and funky. I think, I don't know, I I do, I don't, I'm in two minds about this guys. You're gonna have to tell me whether you like it or not down below. I know this is the first dress but you're gonna have to let me know. Undecided, I, I do like the colour of it, I do like this mesh bit, I think that this is really really cool actually. Whoever designed this did a brilliant job of designing it. All I can say is that it is tight, so if you like really really tight figure hugging stuff, go for it, get your size. If you need to sort of have a little bit of wiggle room or you want some room for a food baby so you don't show up your belly button and your pant lines, 
then go a size up because this is really tight and I'm, I'm struggling to breathe now because I've been talking to you guys. But yes, struggling to breathe, but I think it's actually quite a nice dress. Okay, so don't put in for the next one. Go for this one. Okay, so this looks like a little bit wintry. It is in a taupe. Oh, it's a ripped cow neck jumper dress and it's a large to extra large, which is a 40. So, here we go. This is, ooh. What is this? It's got a little bunny on it. That's really cute. Oh, okay, wrong way around, Leah. Oops. Righty ho. Right, so that is the. Oh, wow. Actually, oh, ooh, I like that. By Tyler Fashion. Enix Fashion, it's by, apparently. Um, and that is the jumper dress. And I really love that cow neck. It's gorgeous. It feels so soft. So soft, guys. Oh my god. It's an absolutely beautiful colour. I really, really like that colour because it's not. It's almost like the wool that it's actually been woven with has got a little bit of a beige in there as well. So it's really, really nice. I actually really like that. It doesn't look like it's going to be really tight. I think it's just going to be a baggy jumper dress. Great for those cold days coming up to summer or those cold days in the spring as we are in now. And do you know what? That winter day. Oh my God. It is cold. Woo! Really, really cold. But yeah, so it's one of those sweater dresses that you could just wear on its own. Or in winter, you've got it for winter, so you can put tights on it, boots, and then your long sleeve t-shirt, but you can literally just wear it on its own. Sort of in those weird chilly days like we're having now. But I really, really like that. I think that is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to try it on, so let's get it tried on. I feel like a sunflower. No, but in all seriousness, this is the <laughs> dress. Um, don't know. I think this would be better in the winter with like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath it. And I tell you what, it's so static, it's ridiculous. I'm like really static right now. Yeah, I think it's nice. You would have to probably wear it in the winter though. It's not really a summery or a springy kind of thing. So I will say it is a little bit itchy. So if you get wool itch, definitely not the thing for you. Don't think it does anything for my figure. I think it actually makes me look um, quite pale or a bit weird. This is really cute though. I don't quite understand the whole thing behind the teddy bear, but it's cute. I like the ruffly neck. If anyone finds a cow neck or a roll neck sweater with this neck on it, I will gladly have it. So let me know where you find it. But no, overall, I think it is definitely more of a winter thing. I think this just actually came out of the winter lines and they never sold it. it doesn't really suit me. It's a little bit big here and it's a little bit, because of the static, it's just sticking to everything and it's not, not quite, uh, I wouldn't say it's not pleasant to wear, but it's just not good. It doesn't give you a good figure doesn't do anything for your figure really at all but i think in the winter if you wore it with like jeans or leggings and a long sleeve top it would be a winner right so the next one okay that's made me go static the next one this is heavy it you know this is really heavy okay so this is an extra large uk 14 apparently it's a cut out scallop trim lace dress i think it's in black uh, uh. let's have a look Ooh. okay this feels like quite good quality actually it's by a company called Last Girl. Oh, right. I didn't realise it had cutouts on it. <laughs> I should have known because it says cutout on there. But this is the dress and it has cutouts on the waist there. So that's going to be interesting when I try that on because you guys know I don't like showing my waist off. It looks like it could be quite nice. I love the lace detailing on it. All over it is so gorgeous. And it is, it does look like it's actually fitted. It's got um, it's got sewn in panels here, which would give it the fitted kind of fittedness. My words aren't working today, I'm so sorry. But that looks absolutely beautiful. It does feel really good quality. It feels really, really thick. I think the seams might itch a little bit when it's on because they are quite thick seams and there's nothing over it. But other than that, that looks really nice. So I am really excited to get that tried on and see what it looks like. So let's try it on. So this dress, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. Sounds really weird that I'm pleasantly surprised, but I kind of like the sleeves. The sleeves I do like. I like how it's slightly scalloped around the sleeves here. I like the length of it because it's fingertip length, which is quite nice. It doesn't show up all your lumps and bumps. It's got a lovely skirt on it. And then you can't really see the little cutouts. You can't really see much going on just there. 
unless you stand at the side or you want people to see it. So these are the cutouts. I am wearing shapewear, so it is a different colour to my actual legs. So I am wearing shapewear here because of the other dresses that I'm going to be trying on. But I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I thought that this would look horrendous. I thought it would show up far too much side than I would like. But it's, it's good. I'm, it's weird. I'm kind of feeling like it, these are pockets and I'm like, yeah, pockets. <laughs> And they're not, this is this would show my skin. How, how strange. I'm kind of okay with the neckline, it's not really doing a lot, but then I suppose the whole thing about the dress is the fact that it's full lace and it does have these cutouts. So uh, if you're dancing away and doing whatever you're doing and you lift your arms up, it's like skin, which is you know how it does. But I don't know, I don't know if I like it, I don't know if I don't, because I think it makes my boobs a little bit flat. And, uh, you know, I like them to look half decent when I'm wearing stuff. Also, I think with the jiggling around and everything, it's going to uh, ride up a little bit and that's not really... If it stayed where it was, that'd be a lot better. But overall, impressed with it. I'm surprised that it actually gives you a waist, which is really surprising, really good. It does feel quite tight, so it is a tighter fit, so it's probably a bit more of a formal dress. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is really, really nice. I think it's stunning. And I like this, which is weird, because I don't normally like things like that. So the next one, going for something white. Let's have a look at this. So this is a mesh insert bodycon dress. It is a size 14, and yes, it's in white. So this is the dress, and it's inside out. So I don't know whether it's been tried on already and just left inside out, no idea. So let's turn it the right way. This is by a brand called Miss Pretty World. I love that top detailing. Absolutely love that. How beautiful is that? And it's so soft, really, really soft. That is not gonna itch you at all. And it's stretchy, ooh, stretchy, stretchy. So any, any size of arms in there, that's really good because Lord knows I sometimes get these uh, these flabby arm days. I think a few of us do. But I love that, I think that's really, really nice. I have a feeling it might be a little bit too big, but we will see. And it does feel like a really, really good material. My only issue is gonna be, I'm not exactly the kind of person that will manage to get through a day or an event and actually be clean coming out of it in the end. So if I wore this, it would probably be a one time only thing. This is really nice. I really like it. I think it may be a little bit see-through, but we'll just have to see it on that front. And there's only one way that we can find out. Let's get it tried on. What do you think about this dress? I mean, I am actually pleasantly surprised. I really, really love this bit. I think this top part actually makes the dress and I absolutely love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. And the dress itself is really, really comfy. It is very fitted. So uh, with it being white and fitted, you can kind of see some lumps and bumps and you'll be able to see a dark coloured bra. So my bra that I'm wearing is actually pink and I think you can kind of see it a little bit, but not too much. But overall, I think it is a lovely, lovely dress. It fits really well. It feels really, really nice, but you can, <laughs> you can see my pant line here. So if you were going to buy it and wear it, you probably need some shapewear or some pants that don't show your pant line. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I do love the top bit. I think it's lovely. I mean, as I mentioned, you can see all your lumpy bumpy bits. So definitely either shapewear or wear underwear where you don't actually see any lines or anything like that. I mean, it's to the point where if I lean forward, you can even see the roll underneath my bra, which ladies, I know we all get it every now and again. We all get that little bit of roll under here when we lean forward. But yeah, other than that, I think it is a really, really lovely dress. I really, really do. It is a bit see-through, but that's because it's white and this is just absolutely beautiful. Next one, next one, it's blue. Okay, royal blue, that's all it says on the packaging. Okay, so it's got sparkly bits on it. She Likes is the brand for this, and I got it in a size 14. Ooh, that's, that feels a bit, um, not lycra, a bit lycra-y. Let's just go lycra-y, lycra typiness. So that is the dress. Whoa, what, what is that? I think I've got some strange dresses in this as well. Look at this, what is this? It's like a tail, but on the front of the dress. What? Okay, that's really, really interesting. That's really interesting. Um, it does feel like it is cheaply made. It's a very thick material again. It's gonna be one of those dresses that you have on and it's just like, it's cheaply shiny anywhere you go, especially if you're in the light. I mean, you can probably see it there. This 
is weird. Um, I have no idea what that's gonna look like, but it's like a black and royal blue kind of material. It's got a stretch in it as well, it's so odd. Don't know what I think about this, but I suppose we should try it on and actually see what it looks like, so let's get it tried on. So just putting this on, my hair has gone so static, it's unreal. But this is the dress and what is all this about? <laughs> what is going on with this? I mean, okay, looking in the mirror, it kind of, it looks okay. I mean, you could kind of get away with it if it was just a top. Um, it is so, so clingy and bodycon that it's showing up everything. I really don't want it to show up. I think this was kind of to take away from that, but it's not quite happening. It's very, very warm. The sleeves, my arms are getting so warm already, and I've literally had it on seconds. It's really too short for me. You can see my pant line, so you would need to wear pants that don't have a pant line. You need to be invisible without girlies. But, like... That is not a good look from there to here. It's really not a good look. I mean, look how short it is at the back. How could you do anything with it being that short? Like, ladies, if you wear dresses and skirts that are this short, how would you get away with it? I just... Uh, this would be like leggings, tights, jeans. I could not wear this as a dress. If you like this, then that's absolutely fine. That's completely up to you. But for me, this is a, this is a giant no-no and it's very warm as well. It feels cheap on, it's so, so clingy. If this is your game, then uh, okay. <laughs> you go for it, I'm not going to. So the next one, aha, what is this? It's by a company called Dainty. It's a large, they're 12 to 14. It's in a dusty pink. Why does this look like it's imitating suede? Oh, okay, so I obviously got some weird ones in this as well. What? <laughs> okay, so, oh, this zip goes all the way to the bottom of the dress and undoes the dress. If you fancy wearing it somewhere in the summer, make sure you're not with boys and make sure that they're not going to be really drunk around you because they will unzip your dress. I have kind of not really been there, but you know when you wear a bikini and it's a tie round and you don't double knot it or triple knot it and you're on holiday? Yes. <laughs> I think as girls know exactly what happens with them. Anyway, this is the dress and do you know what? I'm not mad at it at all. It does feel almost suede-like, so that's interesting. And it has got these tribal pattern dewy uppy bits on the sides. So I am guessing, depending on how crazy you want to go, <laughs> you could undo those and expose all down the side of you. Oh my lord. So this is one of those dresses where it doesn't look risque, but then it is risque if you know what I mean. So it's a innocent until proven guilty. It's a the quiet ones are always the worst sort of dress. Yeah, let's uh, get that tried on and see what it's like. Can you even tell that I'm wearing a dress? It is the same colour as me. It actually is the same colour as me. So hopefully I've not shocked you and you will realise that this is the dress that I've just showed you. Don't know what I think about this. It is kind of soft, but because of the material, it's showing up sort of everything that you don't really want it to show up. I mean, you could easily loosen it with these ties at the side here, which I think is actually a really, really cool idea. But I don't think this is really me. I'm not really a show my flesh kind of girl, if you know what I mean. I think if you did wear dark underwear under it, you will probably see it. I think it kind of gives me quite a nice shape on the top. Makes my bust look uh, busty. In it doing that, it's making my hips look very, very hippy, which I'm not really much of a fan of. But this is the zip on the back. So it literally goes, you can't really see it, but it does go all the way down to the very bottom of the dress here, which you can actually feel on your leg, which is really odd. So I think if you sat down, it would actually be quite annoying to be fair. Nice dress if you can get away with wearing something like this. It's not really the colour for me, it's too close to my actual own skin tone for me to be able to wear something like this. But if you can get away with wearing it, it is really really comfortable and if you are risque enough then uh, you could even do undo these side bits a little bit and show a little bit of skin. Going in for the next one. Ooh. Ew, okay, I think I like this one. And, oh, what? Oh, where's the back 
reckon we're... Okay, so this is Collection London. I think I've had a couple of Collection London things from everything £5 before. And this is the dress, and it looks like a lovely little skater dress. I really like this. It's like, it's got a fishtail on the bottom of it, which is actually really, really cute, because you don't normally get, like, skater dresses that have that almost kind of fishtail to it. That's really nice. I really like that. And I love, absolutely love, this lace detail. It gives it something else, doesn't it? I don't remember online no, seeing that it has match sticks on it, though, but, um, you know, maybe I could... I could put it on and run around the garden and then start singing Relight My Fire to Dan. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but that looks so, so pretty. I mean, it's got the V-neck at the front and it's also a V at the back there as well. It does look like it might be a little bit big, but we'll have to see. So let's try it on and see if it's as cute and as fun as I think it's going to be. Collection London. Oh my god. Okay. I kind of am in love with this. I mean, the V is quite low here. I feel like I do kind of need to take it up a little bit, but that's because I'm a little bit uncomfortable with having like full cleavage on the show. But I absolutely love this dress. It's so cute. Yeah. I mean, it looks almost like it's a little bit longer at the back than it is at the front. But I love how it's got this kind of, this mermaid flare almost to it. I think that is so, so cute. I love it. And like these bits, I know they're useless, but they look good. <laughs> it's really odd. I mean, that is the back of the dress. So you can wear your bra and you're not going to be showing any bra straps. Literally my bra straps here, but you can't really see it, which is great. I just, I think this is a lovely floaty skirt. And as I've mentioned before in my other videos, black and red, are actually my favourite colours. This has got a little bit of white in, don't mind that, but I think this is so super, super cute. I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. It is so soft, it's not really tight, which is nice. You have a little bit of room, so if you do actually go out and have something to eat, you've got room for your little food baby in there, and you can still have a real good time. So I am so, so happy with this. It's amazing. Let's see what have we got we have one out of whoa okay out of the packaging and it's blue so this doesn't actually have a tag on it other than this tag and it is a size 14 so that is the dress it is literally just a plain blue dress it is satin yes it's satin i was trying to think of the word then it is satin and it does actually have an underskirt to it as well so it shouldn't stick to your legs, shouldn't hopefully show up any lumps and bumps. But I think that colour is really, really interesting. I actually kind of like that. Not sure if it's going to suit me, because it's almost like one of those really cool colours that's warm. Sounds really odd. You can get blue that's warm. Yes, you can. We will see what that's like. It does feel like it's been made really, really well. Got a button and a keyhole detail on the back, which is great. But yeah, other than that, it's just a plain sort of shift dress that you could wear to work, you could wear to a party, you could wear to any event, really. You could wear it with trainers, you could wear it with heels, you could wear it with flats, it doesn't matter. So let's get that try on and see what it's like. Turquoise or aqua, shiny, and you see everything. So, um not really my kind of thing. It feels nice on, sort of. I mean, it's very, very tight around here. I mean, look what it's showing you guys. Wow. I feel like, looking in the mirror, it's making me look pregnant. Like, what? This is crazy. The colour doesn't suit me. It's too much of a warm kind of aqua turquoise blue thing. I, it doesn't do anything at all for me, really, does it? It's it's too big here, it's too tight here, which is the thing that I kind of get with some of the dresses and some of the tops from everything five pounds is they kind of, some of their dresses or the manufacturers for the items, they actually cut, instead of cutting in for a waist and then out, they literally go straight up and down and that's how you can tell that it's actually made really cheaply. This is a massive no, there is a zip here to help you get into it and I am now going to use the zip to help me get out of it. Next one, let's see what we have. Ooh, <gasps> ooh. This is by Yilly K. Got it in a large extra large, so again, it is 12 to 14. And this looks so interesting. I am so interested in this. I remember seeing this online thinking that's really strange, but on the right person, it could look really, really nice. This is the dress. 
It's a proper shift dress and it just makes me think of the 60s. So if you like going out and having that 60s vibe, yes. This is amazing. It's got like little smiley faces. You've got like the American flag and then you've got like pink dots. And that's got stars on it. You've got a leopard print or a cheetah print. That is cool. Yeah, what I really like about this is it's got the sort of like false leather around the collar here. You've got a gold zip here that really accentuates the zip, which is really cool. And then on the sleeves, you've got that false leather again, which is really awesome. It just looks so cool with the little zip there. So that is cool. I really, really like that. I think it's such a unique dress and it is literally just a straight up and down dress. That's, that's it straight up and down dress but if the 60s is your vibe yes so let's try it on and see what it's like now if you don't think this is cool there is actually something wrong with you because this is really cool this is so so cool i mean it is one of those where i don't do mini dresses but this is a really nice length you don't feel like you're gonna expose anything it's just a really really nice length and i really really like it don't know if it really suits me, it's more of a straight up and down kind of dress, so I think if you like more of a boxy shape, it might look really, really cool. But I love these details, I absolutely love this pleather detail. I think it's brilliant, and around the neck, I think it really, really makes the dress. It feels nice on, it just feels really soft, it feels really airy, really floaty, and this pattern, I mean, guys, this pattern is actually epic. It's really cool. So. Do you know what? I would really like a sweater with this pattern on. I think it would be amazing. But yeah, I think this is super, super cool. If you can rock stuff like this, so like, I think the late 60s, early 70s, then this is totally your vibe. So definitely go for it. Next one. What have we got? We've got something red. Ooh. Okay, so this is in a size large, which is a 12 to 14. It's by Lily Mc... McBee? Lily McBee? Oh no. Ew, that's a little party number, isn't it? I like that. I don't know how that's gonna fit me on my boobs, but it does have cups in it there. It's got, you know, that like little stickum thing to hold it to you. So it's got that on there. It's got a lovely silver zip on the back. That's really, really nice. Oh, it actually looks like, it's not quite silver and it's not quite gold. That's actually quite nice. It's got a little bow here, which is so cute. Look at the bow, it's so cool. And it literally just comes out from right underneath your boobs. And <laughs> I think that's really, really sweet. It's gonna be a lovely little party mini dress. And I can't wait to try that on. I honestly don't think that this style is going to suit me because they don't. But I saw it and I was just like, I really need to try this on. I mean, it has got an underskirt to it as well, which is brilliant. It will stop everything clinging to you hopefully hide some bits and pieces that you don't want everybody to see but yeah that is so 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 cute and do you know what if it looks nice on this could have been a contender for my valentine's day meal honestly but i went for that cute little black number that had the like polka dot mesh over it so if you've not actually seen my boohoo haul where i got that i will link it above for you because it's an amazing dress anyway let's get this dress tried on and see what it's like okay so if you want to get this dress and you have a larger bosom please size up because this will not go over my boobs at all look at the back look at the state of that guys look at the state of that this is definitely not made for people with larger breasts i will probably have to blur this out because you can see more of my bra than anything else i have literally just I can't get in it at all. I mean, it would be lovely if I could get in it. It would look quite nice. It would be a lovely little formal sort of mini dress that you could go out with. It would probably even pass as a prom dress if, you know, you've got a prom that's coming up. I know a lot of events are cancelled at the minute, but if you do feel like you may have a prom coming up in your future and you can get away with dresses that are shorter instead of the long ones, then this would be so, so cute. But you need to size up if you want to fit your boobs in it. So I'm now gonna take this off because it's absolutely killing me. I have tried to off everything in there, but it's just, it's no good. I've got to take it off. But other than that, it would be a really nice dress. Next one, let's see what we've got. Ew. Okay, this is a size 14, it's just gray multi. It looks like it's snake print. So let's have a look to see what we have. Oh, okay, this is really cute. I can't remember getting this, but this is cute. <gasps> oh, I just
just had my Amazon delivery show up. Anyway, <laughs> so this was actually a Boohoo Basics. So this has gone down in price quite a lot, but this looks so sweet. Look at that. I mean, if you're big into animal print, this is absolutely perfect. I mean, it is supposed to be an off the shoulder, I think. I think you can have it either way, really, can't you? However you want to wear it. This is a lovely sort of light mesh. It's really, really nice. It's not really that stretchy, but it has got a little bit of stretch in it. It looks like the elastic's not gonna be too tight either. It is really, really kind of flexible, but not too flexible. And it looks like the actual snake bit of it is like a little meshy material, which is really cool. And then the underskirt is like just a beige. And I think that looks really, really nice. So I am really excited to get this tried on. I actually completely forgot that I got this. So let's get it tried on and see what it looks like. I will apologize because I'm leaving my bra on with everything. So you're gonna have to put up with bra straps because I have to wear a bra. I am pleasantly surprised with this. I thought it'd either look really horrible or it'd look quite nice. And in that mirror, it looks quite nice. So you will have to tell me what you guys think. I'm not mad at it. I'm actually quite liking it. I mean, the, the sleeves, there's so much room here. Here. It doesn't feel like you're restricted. You could wiggle around and do whatever you want to do and it'll just stay and sit, which is really good for off the shoulder stuff. It gives me a little bit more of a waist than I was expecting, which is good. It doesn't make my boobs look flat. It doesn't make my stomach look as round, rotund, as it sometimes does in dresses. This is a perfect length for me. I really, really like this. So if you guys hate having mini dresses that are like here, like not quite to your fingertips, but going knee length doesn't really suit you either. This is like the perfect length. I feel so comfortable in this. I mean, it is a little bit tight. I will say that it's a tiny little bit tight around the tummy, but I am a little bit more bloated than usual. I am pleasantly surprised at how nice this looks. So this one is a thumbs up from me. So I do really, really like it. Right, so I'm building in for this purple thing. What? Size 14 lavender. So this feels like a tablecloth. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I got weird dresses, didn't I? Whoa. This feels strange. It feels like, um, is that two layers? No, it's, it's spongy. It is like a sponge. It's a dress made of sponge. <laughs> it's actually, oh my God, it feels like sponge. It's got two layers and there's almost like spongy material between it. That, crazy well, at least it'd be soft when you sat down I tell you what so it is like it is tiered Ta -da! like this um it doesn't look like it's been cut very well but it's a bit of a strange one i will say it has got these this white bit here so it is not see-through which is really really good though i think if you wore really dark underwear you would definitely see it it is just a round neck there and on the back you do have a button and some key a keyhole detail just there which is quite cool i just can't get over the fact that it feels like a sponge i think me putting this on <laughs> i'm actually going to look like a giant purple frilly sponge so let's get my sponge on you know how i said i think i might look like a giant frilly sponge i think i look like a giant frilly sponge <laughs> oh this is so terrible i mean who even designed this i think it probably looked good on a catwalk on someone super skinny but i'm like it doesn't move there's no shape to it it's like do you know what i actually feel like i need to be going to a dance in the 60s with a giant belt on just like under here but i don't know i really don't know why someone designed this i mean it's just it's not even that comfy i mean where the seams are <laughs> look at that <laughs> Where the seam is sewn sort of on the underskirt, it does itch a little bit. And it's just like, you can pretend flash people. Sorry if you can see my bra through the white bit. But yeah, you can pretend flash. It's just, I don't quite, <laughs> I don't quite get it. <laughs> this is so weird. I, I do feel like, you know, Dan should come in and just kind of drop me on the floor and like start scrubbing me around the floor, you know, with my arms or something and like lather me up with soap and stuff. Now we're getting into a different world. That's how I feel. I, I feel like a sponge. I feel like I need to go and sit in the sink for a little bit. So I think I'm going to take this off and uh, yes, this is very strange. Okay, so the next one, it's gold-ish, so 
sort of rose gold by Golden Days Paris. It's in a large, again, 12 14. Feels a little bit like, I'll tell you what it feels like. My last Everything Five Pounds haul where I did the sale, I'll link it in before you if you've not already seen it so you can go and have a look. I actually got a top that was, it was like a gold and black but it had flecks of green in it. It looked nice and it felt nice but it, it wasn't anything special. There was just something really off about it and I couldn't tell what it was. But this kind of feels the same. I think that that actually looks really cute. I would probably say it looks more like nighttime wear. It doesn't actually look like a dress dress. It looks more like nighttime wear. The straps are massive so they are alterable which is really good. I'm probably gonna have to like really alter them. Oh that's better. I don't know why you'd have them there that long. I don't know maybe maybe it's stretched. I have no idea. This little lacy detail here is so cute. I really really like it. It is two layers so it does actually have an underskirt so you got your first layer, which is the pattern, and then the underskirt there, which feels like it may end up a little bit static, but we'll see when it's on. It does feel just a general nice flowy dress. So I'm really intrigued as to what it's gonna look like on. So let's get it tried on and see what it's like. And whether it actually looks like, and whether it actually looks like a nighty more than a going out dress. So other than to bed, I don't actually know where you'd wear this dress. Um, it looks like a night dress, something that you'd wander around at home, you know, it's just like your little night thing, it's, you know, it's quite warm, it feels really nice on it, it's so, so soft, really, really nice. I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm like, where would you actually wear this out? So, like, where would you actually go and wear this other than around the house at night? I think this lace detailing is really nice but I think that it ages the dress a little bit so it does look more like nightwear, I don't know. I mean, that's the back of it. I don't know, I, I think weirdly enough, it's kind of, kind of see-through as well, which is really strange. It's like, depending on whereabouts you stand and how you move, it, it's kind of see-through. So the skirt underneath is quite short. Yeah, you can see straight through it, but I don't know. What, would you guys wear this out? Would you wear this out anywhere with friends? You know, after this whole lockdown thing's done, would you go for a picnic in it? Would you go to the pub in it? Personally, it's no from me because this looks and feels like a nighty. Okay, so delving in. Oh, and this is the last one. Okay, so this is an off the shoulder flare sleeved midi dress in light gray and it's a size 14. So let's have a look, see what we have as the last dress, yes. So this is by Miss Pretty World again. Oh, okay. Okay, we're liking Miss Pretty World at the minute. What? Oh, oh look at those sleeves. Oh, yes, they've got a split on the sleeves there as well. Oh my Lord, I love this dress. So maybe off the shoulder, maybe on the shoulder. We don't quite know. Um, it has got a sewn panel here. Oh, it's got a split. It has a split, guys. It's got a split on it. Maybe that's gonna be nice. I don't know. What do you think? What do you guys think about this dress? Because I think that it could be quite nice. I mean, it's it's not really soft, but it's not really coarse either. I mean, the fabric, very strange fabric, it looks like, you know when you have dresses with uh, like a quite cheap material, you put it in the wash and then you wash it again, wash it again, and it gets like this very, very faint bobble to it. It looks a little bit like that, but it's a brand new dress. So it's just something to do with the material. It looks like it, probably would pull very easily. Uh, it doesn't look like there's an underskirt to it. No, there's not. But I think that's actually really, really nice. So there's only one thing for it. Let's get it tried on and see what it looks like. So what do we think? Do you know what? I actually really, really like this. I love the sleeves. Look at the sleeves. They're amazing. Oh, I love the sleeves. And I love this split. This split is really, really nice. It doesn't go too high up. It doesn't feel like you're gonna expose everything because it comes from your knee. Really, really nice. It does feel like a dress on. It feels like a slightly more formal dress. It's not super, super, super comfy, but it's still comfy. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror because I can't believe how nice this dress is. I am absolutely blown away with this dress. And there's so much room here as well. It's not really tight. The model was wearing it off the shoulder, but I think you could like lift it up and wear it like this if you wanted to. But I honestly think that off the shoulder looks really, really pretty. And I don't have a dress like this. And now I have a dress like this and I really like it. I think it fits really well. It is so, so true to size. 
So definitely get your size in it. I mean, it looks really, really nice from every angle. I absolutely love it. I am in love with this dress. I adore it. These sleeves, they just make it. I just, I just wanna wander around and just play with my sleeves all day. They're amazing. But yes, I absolutely love this dress. Feels good on, it's just, it's a great all round dress. And for saying it was £2.50, you can't go wrong. So they are all my dresses from my everything five pounds dress sale haul, or sale dress haul, how would you say it? I don't know. But they are all my dresses. So which one did you think was the best one? Please tell me down in the comments. Let me know which one was your favorite one, which one that you would buy for yourself, and which one you thought was the strangest, weirdest, looking dress that I actually got in this sale haul. What I'll do, like I usually do, is I'll put all the links down below. I do want to apologise just in case there is anything that is out of stock that you really, really liked and you can't find. As you probably know, everything with everything £5 is once it is gone, it is gone. But what they do actually do is, if you click on one of the links down below, it will take you to the page, it will tell you it's out of stock, but then underneath, it will tell you something that they have that is similar on their website. So there is always use for those links that I put down below, even if nothing is in stock. But yes, that is it. My box is well and truly empty. I've tried on absolutely everything for you today. So I really, really hope you liked this video. If you did, do feel free to give it a great big thumbs up, show it some love, I would really appreciate it. And if you've not already, because 88% of you, yes, 88% of you that watch these videos, that like these videos, are not subscribed to my channel yet. So please, please subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out and it would just show that you really love my content as well and I can keep creating it for you. So that is it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.